into one of this year's most highly anticipated games. Announces it is coming out in November on November 7th with the launch of Xbox One. It is Crackdown 3. And joining us is design director Clint Plundrick. How are you, sir? Great to see you, man. How's everything? You. It's been great. Uh, so we saw uh, Terry Crews yes. announced being in the game, right? How great is it seeing him in the suit? Yes, it is very cool. <laughs> now, I've got to ask you, I saw at the beginning of the trailer, it said uh, Sumo Digital Production. So Sumo yes. is making the game? Sumo is uh, working on the campaign experience. Okay. Dave Jones is still involved in the franchise all up. Okay. So cool. from a, we've always talked about Crackdown having kind of multiple ways to play. So yep. you have our campaign experience that is playable offline okay. and online up to four player co-op. Okay. And then we have our competitive multiplayer experience. And that, that has the uh, cloud compute that, that gives you the 100% destructible environments. Okay. Destruction is still very much part of Crackdown 3. Yeah. We wanted to use this as an opportunity to have our big blowout for campaign because we hadn't shown campaign yet. So it really is almost two separate games or at least modes of the game? Correct. Okay. Correct. And we'll be talking more about the destruction element and our competitive multiplayer experience at a later date. Interesting. Okay. But it's still very much part of it. All right. So this is so we're right to, at E3. Or yes. We're talking about Terry Crews starring in the Crackdown yes. 3 campaign experience. Uh, we saw a little bit, you know, obviously, sense of the footage. But tell us, how does this fit into the universe? What can we expect? Is you know, you said the, the destructibility was something that everyone, I think, was really excited about. Yes. Um, is there destructibility in the campaign? Not so, to the same degree? But not yeah. to the same degree. Yeah. With campaign, you know, you'll, you can ground pound props and turn them into weapons. Right. And so we have prop-based destruction in the campaign yes. experience. But also in the campaign experience, you're the good guy. You're supposed okay. to be saving the city. So we didn't want you raising all of the buildings. You're there to help the people. <laughs> and you're Fair there point. to dismantle Terra Nova, which is the criminal yep. empire that owns New Providence, our brand uh -huh. new city, uh, which is twice as large as the original city from yep. Crackdown. Um, but yeah, that's the idea is that you're the good guy. Okay. And coming for Xbox One X launch in November. Correct. Uh, so tell us a bit about how you're taking advantage of the, the six teraflops power. So you'll see it. We're running it in true 4K uh -huh. on the show. So if you go play it on the show floor, it runs in 4K. Uh -huh. And it's beautiful, um, especially with our draw distance and the kind of graphic novel style. I think it looks beautiful in 4K. We're also doing spatial audio, so we're sporting Dolby Atmos uh -huh. uh, for those who have Dolby Atmos systems. And with our explosion and the kind of chaotic bombast of this yep. game, it sounds amazing in Atmos. Will we get 60 frames on One X? It'll be 30 frames. 30 frames. Okay, so yep. 30 frames across all the systems, um, but obviously you said full 4K yes. uh, abilities. Now, tell us how open is the world? Because one of the things that I think people want to know with Crackdown is yeah. how expansive is it going to be? How many choices will I have? So for me, the, the thing that I loved about the original and I think is fundamental to the franchise is in many ways choice. Yep. How you level, which is through your skills for kill system, that gives you that crazy exponential curve where you collect orbs and you know within a couple hours you're jumping over entire buildings. And yeah. You start the game by throwing rocks and with a couple hours you're throwing fuel trucks, which they just showed there. Yes. Um, so the same kind of choice goes to how you attack the criminal hierarchy, the criminal empire that we call Terra Nova. Yeah. So in that, the entire city is available to you from the beginning. If you want to go right after the kingpin, right from the beginning of the game, you can. It's going to be hard, but I fully expect players to do it. I can't wait to see them stream it because the whole idea of this game is that our hierarchy is a living organism. Yep. You have lieutenants that are reinforced by captains, reinforced by the kingpin. And the way you attack that empire gives you a completely different experience right. because of where you fight those characters, because of where they retaliate and all of that adds up, and the way you went through the game is completely yeah. different than the way I did, simply because of the way we attacked Terra Nova. Uh, tell us about the mobility. That's one of the things I think people love about Crackdown. Yeah. Like orbs, just sort of, you know, seeing the world. Uh, is there any new, you know, we saw obviously some mobility, but any sense of how, how epic sort of the, you know, the mobility is in the world? Absolutely. Um, and so when I was talking about the skills for kill system, one thing we've added is that, so now, you know, you run faster, you jump higher, but you'll also unlock some new abilities along the way. So we've given you a double jump, we've given you the air burst, which you'll see in this. And so now what we're seeing is those kind of death-defying leaps, players modify them, and they do things that we didn't anticipate. And that becomes a big part of combat. Yeah. So you'll be jumping through the air and air burst to dodge a rocket and then lock on new sub-targeting to shoot them in the arms and get them to stop shooting you. And it just gives players more and more tools to play their way. Awesome. All right, so you mentioned that there's a campaign that you play through. Is this a full-blown kind of campaign game? Like oh, yes. Full thing? Okay. Oh, yes. So full campaign, and then that kind of experience, you can also have multiplayer, or is it co-op or multiplayer in that? It is uh, four-player co-op. Okay. And so when you think about, like, for me, the interesting thing about co-op in a game like this, because this Terra Nova is this kind of living criminal empire and it reacts yeah. to how you mess with it, 
we don't tether players. So you could be in a completely different part of the city angering a completely different boss, and I could be on the other side, and then we can drag them together. We can otherwise right. kind of create events that we otherwise wouldn't be able to create in single player, and that's what makes co-op really interesting for us. Okay. So, and you, Terry's character, you obviously still you can play in co-op, and then there are sort of three others that can come in as well? So Terry's a big part of the franchise. We're not yeah. talking about whether he's playable or not. Oh, okay. Um, but he's absolutely part of the franchise. You'll certainly learn more about that in the future. Oh, so you're not confirming he's playable in Campania? Yeah, correct. Okay, he's just involved. In he is just way. involved. And um, okay. now Terry had reached out to us, yeah. really wanted to be a part of it, and he was a perfect fit. I mean, he's a kind of human agent. Yeah. I mean, he was, when we were doing the, the opening video, he's, he's so intense and so big that he would get yeah. excited and he would break the suit. The suit would flip up and somebody yeah. would have to go and glue it back down and fix it along the way. Yeah. Um, he was just a, a perfect fit, and it's been a great partnership. That's really, really cool. I can't wait to see with that. So the, you also mentioned the competitive multiplayer stuff. You said the destructible environments and whatnot. Yes. Is that something that will come out on November 7th as well? Yes. Okay, so it all comes as one package when you buy Crackdown 3. Yes. You get sort of those three, or you know, the campaign plus co-op plus exactly. competitive multiplayer yep. all coming out. Uh, and you'll get more details uh, on the competitive multiplayer very soon. But like cool. I said, E3 is all about campaign for us. No, that's what people have been waiting for a couple of years to, uh, to see what you guys are doing. Exactly. The, uh, the campaign on it, and it definitely looks... Uh, very cool and different. Um, awesome. All right. Well, Crackdown 3. We'll look forward to checking out November 7th, coming out uh, with the system, and we appreciate you popping by. Thank to, you uh, very so much for What's going to be playable at the booth? Will people get to play it? or Yes. Hands-on at the booth, and then we'll have a demonstration behind closed doors as well. Yeah. Um, but what's at the booth is a Skills for Kills challenge. Okay. So you'll have 10 minutes. It's rapid leveling. We're kind of challenging players to earn as many yeah. orbs, create as much chaos as they can, and whoever can score the highest will get some swag. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks very much. Perfect. I appreciate it. Thank We're going to head on back now.